Hey, good to see you. It's Mr. Ninja3322 here. Um, but you can just call me Julian. And thank you for watching my Adventures of KT production journal. This is my first one. I don't really know what I'm doing, so I just got a couple of questions that have been asked, and I'm just going to answer them. Where did I get the idea for KT? Um, so it was after a chemistry exam, and Luke McKay was like, Hey, you draw comics, right? Why don't you draw a year-long comic? And I was like, Sure! Uh, but uh, KT itself was really just in my head somewhere. I drew a concept art of what KT would look like and personified a program in a computer who wants to be a hero. I gave her a foil, which you probably haven't seen yet in the story because it hasn't shown up, it's a still the origins kind of part. Um, but uh, yeah, so KT has a foil, she wants to be a hero, that's her motivation, um, and her concept art, as you can see here, is uh, just, you know, me going, something. <laughs> Dang, how long have I been drawing? Um, it's been a very long time. Not so much on the digital part, because uh, that was only about, I want to say five years ago. I just got, um, I had a, a small 7-inch Galaxy Tab 2, and I drew on that, because I'm kind of uncoordinated and kind of derpy. Um, I can't really use like the screen and the tablet and draw on the tablet, but then look at the screen, so it's just really difficult for me. Um, so I had to draw on directly on screen, and I can't afford a Cintiq because that's fucking expensive. That's probably like five years of digital experience. But, uh, years, years, ten years, twelve years of actual like drawing, paper media, etc. kind of experience. Where do I live? That's a, that's a weird question. Um, uh, I live in Canada. I live in BC, the province of British Columbia. I live, I lived in Vancouver. I live still in the greater Vancouver region, but I live in a city called Richmond, which is just slightly south. It's basically the same city. You can go over a bridge over there. Um, yeah. How long it takes to draw a comic? <laughs> uh, pretty long, not that long. I know those are really arbitrary numbers, like, they're not even numbers. If I know what I'm doing, if I have, like, the vision in my head, then it comes around really smoothly and I can do it in one sitting. Maybe, like, it takes a, an hour or two. But then there are other times it'll take a lot longer. Maybe, like, a whole day. I probably won't be working on it non-stop in a whole day, but it spans and accumulates. What inspired the designs of different characters? That's a... That's actually a really good question. Um... It's just a lot from pop media. Katie's a mix of pop media, Android with like the headphones. I got the like the neck things from One Punch Man <laughs> from Gina. This muscle right here, as we call it, is the sternocleidum astoid. So that's a little technical. Part stormtrooper, part Halo. Uh, the dress itself I actually designed as a dress that has pockets and is held open by uh, held up by wires, keeps form. But um. I've yet to make that dress. I know, it's uh, difficult. For other characters such as Nexus, Nexus and the Space Bar, I take inspiration from my favorite bar downtown, uh, EXP, Bar and Restaurant. Uh, if you're ever in Vancouver, go check it out. It's a pretty cool place. Look for the guy with the hair that sticks outside like that. Miss Stewart, the lady who had the box, is actually Mustard Stewart, the character of Luke McKay. Uh, balls to that. It's a pretty funny comic. You should also go check out that. Yeah. How did I meet Luke McKay? Uh, interesting. Interesting. Um, it actually happened because, uh, Enzo, uh, who writes Cheer Up Emo Kid, fun comic, you should also go check that out. Uh, he tweeted out on a day I was out in downtown, um, I was at the aquarium, and he tweeted out, Luke and I are at VanCaf. This is last summer. Um, Van Cafe is Vancouver Comic Arts Festival. Cool stuff. 
lots of tables with uh, a lot of talented people. Um, and uh, so, uh, yeah, I took the Skytrain, took the bus, got straight over to uh, the L-Town Roundhouse, and uh, went into the community center to go check it out. Free entry. Dang. And uh, things turned out pretty great. I mean, Luke has been my inspiration for comic arts or web comic arts or you know, digital art for a very long time. Kind of all started because of that. Um, I went into comic arts because Luke did the uh, Rooster Teeth comics. Uh, and I was a big fan of those until the commission ended, I think? Or something like that. Until it ended. So, I was pretty heartbroken about that, as were many other fans. And I was like, I can draw? I'll draw these fan comics! <laughs> and uh, I adopted his style and whatever I could. It wasn't perfect. Started off terribly. Couldn't keep up with the uh, schedule or anything, so. Yeah, fell apart pretty quickly. But, um, it was pretty sweet stuff, and, uh, to finally meet Luke and, uh, learn how all these things were done. He taught me about comic writing, joke writing, laying out things, basically what it takes to make a good comic. And, uh, yeah, so a lot of this project runs back down to Luke, the Button Mash, and Enzo, who all have taught me a lot about comic making, and, uh, Hopefully, if uh, everything goes out well, I'll manage to get this comic up and going. Right now, it's still in its early stages, but uh, try not to get it too interfering with school and whatnot. S school, yeah. What do I do at school? Um, I am a student of the University of British Columbia, UBC, and I study science. Um, yeah, it's weird. Artsy kid doing science. What I also do at UBC, I work at the campus newspaper at the UBC. Uh, play on the word Odyssey. I think. I am a staff illustrator there. I do illustrations. And um, I also draw the comic on the back pages. If you ever read the print form. Uh, Life on Campus. It's a comic about some people. If you want to check it out, check it out. It's not that cool, though. Check out the other stuff I said before. Uh, that's all the time I have for now. It's like 2 in the afternoon, and I'm starving. I haven't had lunch or breakfast. And, uh, yeah. I'll hopefully get more pages up and going. Please check out Adventures of KT. Link in the section below. If you have any questions, please write to askadventuresofkt at gmail.com. Or, you know... You could write in the comments section below. Either way, I'll try to respond. Cool stuff. I'll see you next time.